Grace and blessings of the Lord be always upon you. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today the 24th of October, the Lord God is speaking a paradox. The words that we are not able to understand clearly. What is he saying? He is telling that I have come not to bring peace, but division. A father will stand against the son, son against the father, mother against daughter, daughter against mother. Mother-in-law against daughter-in-law, daughter-in-law against mother-in-law. What is this, what is Jesus trying to tell us? Jesus is trying to tell us that He loves us, but not everybody will love Him. And the reason that the other is not able to love, my other, my brother, my sister, my mother, is not able to respond to the love of God will not give me a permission, a license to not to love God. You ask kids, hey, why didn't you come to church yesterday? My daddy did not bring me. Because the child has to depend on the daddy or the mother for, to bring them to church. But when you go to heaven, when you go in front of the Lord on the judgment day, and stand there in front of him. Can you say, what did you do with your life? My wife did not allow me. My husband was drunkard. My children did not listen to me. No one, no one will come and answer on your behalf and no excuse will work. You have to work for your own salvation. And your mother, brother, sister, they are your responsibilities. Instead of standing with them against God, it is good if you stand against them for God. Because now you may be against them, but once they are brought to the Lord, they will be with you, beside you, and they will be happier. Many times I ask the parents, why are your children not coming? They are not listening, Father. Can't you tell them, no, father, they don't listen. If your child is not studying, will you not this way or that way see that the child studies, send this tuition, that tuition, bring, buy this guide, that guide, and that books, this books. Do all that you can to see that your child receives what? Receives a good job, then good life. In this world only, na? what about the world hereafter, eternal rest, eternal life? For that, what are you doing? Wherever I go for a wedding homely, for a wedding mass, I always tell the couples, the greatest gift, dear, you can offer your husband and offer your wife is heaven. Take your wife to heaven, take your husband to heaven be a reason for your wife to reach God and not a reason for your wife or husband to be away from God. And even if they are a cause of your suffering and pain, they are not listening, your spouses, your children, make them reasons to reach God by praying for them like Saint Monica prayed for her husband and her son, by taking them to heaven as she did. So, dear brothers and sisters, the Lord God came to bring peace, but not compromise. A division in the sense as good is good and bad is bad, water is water, fire and fire. I place before you fire and water, choose water, choose life, stretch out your hand and choose life. That's the division, fire, water. So, dear brothers and sisters, let us choose life, choose God and get our people whom we love to choose God. Amen.